Hi, Mike Chambers with Brock White Mainstream Product Specialist here. Today we're in Woodbury, Minnesota at the Spiri Design Center. Uh, starting to do their outdoor living show with them. Right behind me here, you'll see uh, we're going to do an island pizza oven, a bar area, and a little fireplace. Coming today, you'll see uh, pads are what's going to be right now below the, uh, the new concrete slabs support the weight of the islands and the fireplace. So we're going to be laying a perimeter block, four inch half highs, which will carry the uh, island component systems and the fireplace kit. Um, and then as we go forward, we'll see uh, how that component system gets assembled and in the end result, get a, a beautiful outdoor living area. Okay, we're done with this now, and you can see uh, that we had to do a little uh, on-site customization here. We had the the footing wasn't out far enough. We had to pick up three inches. So we, what we did is we core filled the end cores uh, and laid the core inch this way, therefore giving us the additional three inches in the front portion here. Um, it's going to be fine because the slab again will be poured up against it, and the uh, floor will be poured into the base here, so that when you open the cabinet doors, you have a finished floor. So uh, that'll be done at a later date. Uh, in case you're wondering why we, we did this different than what we're doing with Island 2, it's it just, just to make sure the footing uh, could be wide enough because the units were 33 uh, in depth and the footing was 29. Okay, we're on the second island. This will be the one with the gas drill. You can see the gas line coming out from behind here. Um, this one, again, will be laying, of course, four inch half highs on the perimeter. And, uh, Component system will sit on top of that. Lab will be poured to here and uh, allow for, for any movement. Uh, it, won't, it won't affect uh, any cracking in the concrete. Right, what we are doing now is we're starting to assemble the uh, Stone Age kitchen island. Uh, this will be the 18 footer with the pizza oven. Um, the guys behind me right now are setting some panels. Follow me over there, I'll show you the bracket system we're using. This should be done in about 15 20 minutes. Hi, right, we're over here at the uh, 18 foot island. These are the brackets that we're assembling the system with. I'll go over it real quickly with you. This is a bottom corner, so the two panels fit into there. And then once you get the two ends, form a horseshoe. Um, we put the top corner lock bracket on there, just like we've done here. And then where your next straight run panel, you just put a straight lock piece in on the bottoms. And Covered at the top straight lock piece there. We'll run that all the way into the end. If we have to cut uh, shorten this like we will here by six inches, we'll just take six inches off of a front and a back, pull it, and we're exactly the size of, uh, of what they wanted here. So uh, easily customizer. We're at the fireplace pad. This footing has been poured, uh, as I said, which will be uh, four inches below the concrete pad. This will allow if any ground movement, uh, it doesn't affect the uh, veneer on the fireplace and the stone will crack. We'll be building this up 18 inches to, to give it a raised hearth, and then we'll put the component kit, fireplace kit, on top of that. Here we are, we're ready to do the uh, shelf for the fireplace face. We got this up yesterday. Now we're gonna bring the eight inch block up around the entire perimeter. And then when we get to where the, the, the fireplace kit angles in, we'll stop and step in that fireplace face, creating a shelf, six to eight inch shelf, all the way around the unit. And we'll do, that'll be a limestone shelf, and then we'll, we'll skin it with veneer. Hey, I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, equipment that we're using here. This is a column mixer, which we sell over at Brock White. It's the designed head for mortar. You can whip up a batch of 80-pound premix in less than a minute. And you get smooth consistency, 
no dry uh, cement at the bottom of your bucket like you'll get with a typical paddle mixer. Um, I should have brought out a brand new one for this video, but I wanted to prove something. This particular mixer is over 15 years old. It's never had a breakdown. So they're really high quality. The gear ratio on them is second to none. So let's mix the batch. We're back over at the Vecchio brick oven, pizza oven. Uh, this base has been set on top of our uh, cabinet that we put in, and now I'm ready to put the fire brick on there. I'll bring a full fire brick on the entire base, and then I'll put the uh, eight component piece system to, uh, on top of that to create the oven, and then we can just skin that with stone. We're putting the fire brick on with the uh, fire clay, which I've already mixed up and uh, we're ready to go. the islands you can see where we've done the cutouts for the appliances this will be a beverage chiller sink um, with the door underneath here I've got a keg meister going in there and this side this will be a gas grill storage compartment underneath and a side burner now that we've got our cutouts done um, we can start to stone this, these sides of the islands okay now we're on the back side of the bar island and I'll be putting on some mantle brackets or portable brackets to carry the granite bar top onto here. Once I get these fixed in, we'll stone around them. And like this, we're ready for stone. So, notice there's an inside channel here. That's what I like about these uh, backsplash pieces. You can run wiring in here. We can do rope lighting on both sides, either side, whatever you want to do. Um, put outlets uh, on the inside of your bar island as well. Or if you have a canopy up above, you can run lighting right off of this, off your post. So these are really versatile and they snap together real quick and, uh, and it's dirty. And you stick a stone right to them. 